You are our firm foundation. We are strengthened in your truth. Though the hardships come and go, we live in thanksgiving. My favorite song on the album is Rooted. When I was 14 years old, God woke me up in the middle of the night and he told me to get paper and a pencil and I wrote out everything he told me and it was about what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Mm. And it was one part of it was about the tree um, that winds would blow it and as the winds blow it, it loosens the dirt around the roots so that your roots can go down deep. And so if you mm. let the adversity work that in you and you let your roots go down deep, it's really in you we live our lives as children of favorite song on the album is probably in your name. I just really like how it sounds. In your name, your people have authority. Lord, your name, the nations cry out to The music is so, like, it just touches your soul, yeah. I feel. Yeah. And it's a really good word, too. Yeah. I agree. I also really like, throughout the ages, I had never heard that one until we started, you know, practicing for this. Um, and just the words, you know, Satan, sin, and grave have nothing on Jesus. So we serve the undefeated king, so it's just very encouraging, the words. I would say, I mean, if I had to choose one, I would say rooted. <clears throat> um, just everything, everything from the, the start of the album and uh, the finishing of the album. I mean, I commend Calvin so much on it, just staying rooted, mm -hmm. being obedient to all the, the, the lyrics for that. That song just speaks volumes of being faithful and being being rooted in the Word. And man, it, it, it's done a lot for me throughout this whole process. So mm -hmm. really Rooted's definitely, lyrically, my favorite, just because it gives me the story of what it looks like to walk with God and it's not something that I have arrived at yet. I'm still learning what it means to be rooted in Him. It's a journey that I'm always going to be on so it reminds me in those hard moments that I don't have to walk in fear. I don't have to walk in frustration because I'm rooted in Him. It carries us to salvation that is only One of the songs that was actually a surprise for me was Praise the Lamb of God. Oh, praise him, oh, praise him, hallelujah, he is worthy. The outcome, what we have now, was very different than what I had in mind originally. Originally when I was writing it, I was trying to create a song about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control and was going through love and joy and kind of trying to capture how Jesus exemplifies these things and what was supposed to be a song about the gifts of the Spirit or the fruit of the Spirit actually turned into a song, a gospel story about what Jesus did, his love, his life, his ministry for us his sacrifice on the cross for us, his death, and then it celebrates the victory of his resurrection and what it means for us. And if I had given up earlier on when the song wasn't turning out, I wasn't getting the outcome that I wanted, I wouldn't have this amazing song that calls us to remember what he's done for us, what he's continuing to do for us. And it also calls all of us to lift up his name and give him blessing and honor and glory and power. What a joy to know you are our constant hope. And those who rest in you will not be shaken. So something that was hilarious, post-production actually, not during the recording, 
Um, we were fine-tuning things, taking certain takes that were in different spots and trying to move them into earlier spots to make it sound tighter and stronger. And there was actually a lyric section that the words are, The Lord is my light, O oh, and my salvation. And I guess we got our timestamps confused. So they took a take from another spot and combined some lyrics around that kind of changed how the song worked. <laughs> And instead of saying, the Lord is my light and my salvation, it turned into, how great is my light and my salvation. Which is very different than what I was writing. We fixed it, so you're gonna have the biblically correct version when we listen to it. song and I sing it and Cal was like Dion 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 what I need you to do that you, we got to do it again we got to do it again and he's like I want you to listen to what you're singing how you're singing and he's like just let it flow it's like so I sing it again and he goes okay wait 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 one more time he's like uh, uh that's like Calvin give me a minute sing it with me and we we, we were singing the same part oh <laughs> so I wasn't singing it wrong it was just we were singing the same part but for me, that was a funny moment because it was just like, we're going to do this again. <laughs> yeah, it was like 20 times. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> One of the funniest moments was, um, you know, at the end, I mean, it was a long day, long night when all of us were there too, the background vocals, and he was going to take us to pizza, you know, pizza dinner at the end. And Millie had to dog watch, a, you know, family's dog, so she left to do that and she came back because she wanted the pizza that bad. So I thought that was great. I, I love it. I'm a pizza girl too. I love it. Came to get the reward. That's right. You work yeah, for the reward. That's right. I had a really good time because it was my birthday on recording day. Hmm. And so I got to be with some of my favorite people and sing and worship God. When me and Dion were in the studio, just hearing it all come together, it like all connected in a way that I really felt the presence of God. So like, yeah. powerful. But for me, being rooted in Christ is really centering everything around Him. Often during worship I talk about not just giving God the good things in my life, but even the bad things. I want to give Him every part of my life, all the facets, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I know at the beginning of my walk with him, there was so many things I wasn't willing to give him. As I yielded to him, the more I was able to recognize, oh, this is happening, yet there's still this peace inside of me that surpasses all understanding, and it's all because of Christ. To me, being rooted in Christ is having faith in him and his word no matter what. You know his word, you pray, you spend time with him, but when bad things happen, you're rooted, you can stand strong, you won't be shaken. It's just about having that foundation, you know, being confident in what you do in your life because you're rooted in God. Being rooted in Christ means that everything that I am is in him. And if I die to myself and let him be in control, then it goes a whole lot better. It's one of those things because I mean we can talk about like you know I'm a Christian I'm all I'm, you know I'm, I'm all for God but like at the same time it's it's not always like rainbows and butterflies. No, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like when you're rooted and you hold on to His love, like I'm rooted in Your love because I know how awesome You are. I know how how faithful You are. And that part is just like I mean sometimes you have dark days. Sometimes the world's not nice. Sometimes you have to you know, uh, take everything with a grain of salt, but at the same time, God, I'm rooted in you, and I just, I just look to you when there seems to be no way. I've been walking with the Lord for over 50 years now. He never changes. The situations change, hmm. but He never changes. Shines through, we will stay.
I continue to choose Christ, the more I recognize that He has it all in His hands and I don't have to have all the control. And that's really what it is about, is letting go and letting Him have it all. I believe that the words that God gave you are decrees that we need to be speaking for so that God can work on our behalf. You are our constant hope And those who rest in you Will not be shaken no, Well, after over a year of song creating and recording and all the things in between, I'm so excited to be releasing Rooted. Oh, oh, oh.